where do those prospects and customers come from? How does tech sales look like and what's our role in it? Watch this video to learn about it. Why is it important to understand the sales process? After all, we're just SEs. Why should we care about what happens before or after? That should be fine, right? Not really. I really wish I knew this before. Understanding my role as an SE in the sales process helped me get way better at my work. And by demonstrating that knowledge and understanding of the sales process, I get to be way more appreciated by the A's I work with and they treat me as a partner, not just as a sales supporting function. Think of it in sports terms. Can you play any position in basketball without having the overall grasp of the game? Likely not. You don't want to end up shooting the ball at your own hoop, right? It's the same in sales. To be the team player you're expected to be, you have to understand the sales game. Hey there, you're watching Better Pre-Sales with Sasha. I'm a senior sales engineer at a leading cloud company and I make these videos on my own spare time to help you become a better sales engineer. And you can help others too by liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more cool content like this. How tech sales works. SDR or sales development representative is a person who is trying to establish the first contact with a prospect. He's trying to find people who might be interested in buying our solution or product and trying to get them to talk to us. This is called calling. We have companies that we target with our products or services or solutions. Once the SDR has established a contact with someone who has interest in our product, this becomes a lead and the lead is handed over to the account executive. That's the next step in the sales process. Account executive are in charge of managing these accounts. An account can be a company we already do business with or a company we want to do business with. Where do these opportunities come from? Well, we've just seen that an SDR could be creating leads for them. Companies invest a lot in marketing and marketing is nothing else than demand generation. People coming to us after having attended a marketing event, a webinar or a conference and they are interested to talk to us. Yet another way could be that the account executive has their own connections at a company, maybe from previous work. Finally, it often happens that the customers have a need. They come to us because they read about our product, they read a blog, they've seen a YouTube video, and they come to us directly. And that is usually going to be another opportunity in the system. When I say system, I mean CRM. CRM is the tool for account executives. They spend a lot of time updating opportunities and accounts in CRM. Another important thing that the account execs do is they forecast. They forecast the deal size, deals coming out from these opportunities, and the closing date. And this is really important for the company overall. When everybody commits to forecast, then the company has a realistic knowledge about how much business are they going to be getting in this quarter and in the coming quarters. Finally, that's very important, the A is in charge of the overall engagement with the customer. They own the conversation with the customer and they involve other functions to help them progress that opportunity towards a deal. One function we already mentioned, it's the marketing. Sales engineering is another function. If you missed the video about what a sales engineer does, make sure you go back and watch it. We might jump in and work on the opportunity pretty soon in the sales cycle. We might even be there from the very beginning where the A has their first contact with a customer. Later on, what we do is technical introductions, we do discoveries, deep dive, we do solutions assessment or help the customer do solution assessments. I've made a couple of videos on proof of concepts and how to plan and win a proof of concept. If you've missed those videos, make sure you go back and watch those videos too. After a successful POC and a technical win, the A has to negotiate the deal. They have to negotiate on the price and the conditions of that deal. They manage the rest of that process by chasing people down internally, legal, paperwork, sales operations, purchasing on the customer side. There's a lot of work that goes into a deal. For a deal to happen, it takes a village, it takes a bunch of people and it's never just a one person job. The deal is never done until it's signed by the customer and only when it's signed, then we can celebrate the deal finally. I hope this video helped you understand how sales works. Please like this video if you found it useful and connect with me on LinkedIn to continue this conversation. Stay healthy and stay tuned.